subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Windows 10 Beta, MD100. So let's get started. Question number 1, your network contains an Active Directory domain. All users have been issued with new computers that run Windows 10 Enterprise. All users have Microsoft 365 e3 licenses. A user named MiaHam has an Active Directory user account named Ham and a computer named Computer1. MiaHam reports that Computer1 is not activated. You need to ensure that MiaHam can activate Computer1. What should you do? Your options are A. Assign a Windows 10 Enterprise license to MiaHam and then activate Computer 1. B from the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, redeploy Computer 1. C from System Properties on Computer 1, enter a volume license key, and then activate Computer 1. D. Instruct me a ham to perform a local autopilot reset on Computer 1, and then activate Computer 1. The correct answer is, Option D. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 2. Your network contains an Active Directory domain that is synced to a Microsoft Azure Active Directory tenant. The company plans to purchase computers pre-installed, with Windows 10 Pro for all users. The company the following requirements, 1. The new computers must be upgraded to Windows 10 Enterprise automatically. 2. The new computers must be joined to Azure AD automatically when the user starts the new computers for the first time. 3. The users must not be required to accept the end user license agreement. You need to deploy the new computers. What should you do? Your options are A. Make use of the wipe and load refresh deployment method. B. Perform in place upgrade on the new computers. C. Provide provisioning packages for the new computers. D. Make use of Windows Autopilot. The correct answer is Option D. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 3. Your company is not connected to the Internet. The company purchases several new computers with Windows 10 Pro for its users. None of the new computers are activated. You need to activate the computers without connecting the network to the Internet. What should you do? Your options are A. Make use of the Volume Activation Management Tool B. Make use of the Key Management Service C. Make use of the Windows Process Activation Service D. Run the Get Me Object Query Complete. The correct answer is, Option B. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 4. Your network contains an Active Directory domain. All users have been issued with computers that run Windows 8.1. A user named MiaHam has a computer named Computer1. You upgrade Computer 1 to Windows 10 by performing a clean installation of Windows 10 without formatting the drives. You need to migrate the settings from MiaHan from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Which two actions should you perform? Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are The correct answers are, Option D, and E. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 5, you have a computer named Computer1 that runs Windows 10. You deploy an application named Application1 to Computer1. You need to assign credentials to Application1. You need to meet the following requirements, 1. Ensure that the credentials for Application1 cannot be used by any user to log on to Computer1. 2. Ensure that the principle of least privilege is maintained. What should you do? Your options are. A. Configure Application 1 to sign in as the local system account, and select the Allow Service to Interact with Desktop checkbox. B. Create a user account for Application 1, and assign that user account the Deny Logon Locally user right. C. Create a user account for Application 1, and assign that user account the Deny Logon as a service user right. D. Configure Application 1 to sign in as the local service account, and select the Allow Service to Interact with Desktop checkbox. The correct answer is, Option B. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 6, your network contains an Active Directory domain that is synced to a Microsoft Azure Active Directory tenant. All users have been issued with laptop computers as well as desktop computers that run Windows 10 Enterprise. 
All users have Microsoft 365 E3 licenses. A user named Mia Hamm informs you that she must perform a BitLocker recovery on her laptop but she does not have her BitLocker recovery key. You need to ensure that Mia Hamm can perform a BitLocker recovery on her laptop. What should you do? Your options are A. Instruct Mia Hamm to log on to her desktop computer and run the repair.exe command. B. Instruct Mia Hamm to use the BitLocker recovery password viewer to view the computer object of the laptop. C. Instruct Mia Hamm to log on to her desktop computer and go to the following and view the user account profile. D. Instruct Mia Hamm to run the enable BitLocker template on her laptop. The correct answer is option C. Question number 7. Your company has an on-premises network that contains an Active Directory domain. The domain is synced to Microsoft Azure Active Directory. All computers in the domain run Windows 10 Enterprise. You have a computer named Computer1 that has a folder named Folder1. You must provide users in group named Group1 with the ability to view the list of files in Folder1. Your solution must ensure that the principle of least privilege is maintained. What should you do? Your options are A. Assign the full control permissions for the Folder1 folder to Group1. B. Assign the read permissions for the Folder1 folder to Group1. C. Assign the list folder permissions for the Folder1 folder to Group1. D. Assign the take ownership permissions for the Folder1 folder to Group1. The correct answer is, Option C. Question number 8. You have a computer named Computer1 that runs Windows 10. Computer1 has a folder named the following. You need to meet the following requirements. 1. Log users that access the following. 2. Log users that modify and delete files in following. Which two actions should you perform? Your options are A. From the properties of the following, configure the auditing settings. B. From the properties of the following, select the encryption contents to secure data option. C. From the audit policy in the local group policy, configure audit directory service access. D. From the audit policy in the local group policy, you configure audit object access. E. From the audit policy in the local group policy, you configure audit system events. The correct answers are, option A, and D. Option number 9, your company has a computer named Computer1 that runs Windows 10. Computer1 is used to provide guests with access to the internet. Computer1 is a member of a workgroup. You want to configure Computer1 to use a user account sign-in automatically when the, the computer is started. The user must not be prompted for a username and password. What should you do? Your options are a. Configure group policy preferences. B. Run the cd boot command. C. Edit the registry. D. Run the ms config command. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 10. Your network contains an active directory domain. The domain contains computers that run Windows 10. You must ensure that Windows BitLocker drive encryption is enabled on all client computers even though a trusted platform module chip is installed in only some of them. You need to accomplish this goal by using one group policy object. What should you do? Your options are A. Enable the allow enhanced pins for startup policy setting, and select the allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM checkbox. B. Enable the enable use of BitLocker authentication requiring pre-boot keyboard input on Slate's policy setting and select the Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM checkbox. C. Enable the Require Additional Authentication at Startup Policy Setting, and select the Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM checkbox. D. Enable the Control Use of BitLocker on Removable Drives Policy Setting, and select the Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM checkbox. The correct answer is, Option C. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.